Hey everyone, I'm giving a review on Sassy Secrets Misty. Now this is a synthetic lace wig, it's full lace, and it actually comes in one length, but I took it to a beauty shop and um, had them layer it, so that's why it looks a little different. As you can see, the baby hairs are kind of glued down and uh, it looks pretty good on the front. I had a heck of a time trying to figure out how to glue since this is my first wig. I, I first tried um, spirit gum. It was not Masic. It was another spirit gum and it did not hold at all. Then I tried um, tape. That did not work. That was super tape. Then I bought uh, Miss Lola's glue and she suggested to use that with uh, Vapon Snow Tape and that looked horrible in the front. It came loose and you could see the line of glue um, in the front. It just looked really bad. And uh, finally, I got up enough guts to get the Ultra Hold. I heard bad things about it. I heard that it works real well, but it's so stringy, it's hard to use and beginners shouldn't use it. But I decided to use it anyways. And it's the first real hold that I've had. Um, in weeks. I've had this for a couple of weeks. Now, what I like about this uh, synthetic uh, lace wig is the price, number one, around $175. Uh, other thing I like about it, too, is that it feels like real hair. And when I followed the instructions on washing it, I did take it off and swish it around in a bowl and, um, you know, pull it out and dap it dry and do that again. I did not use uh, Sassy Secrets um, products uh, to wash it because uh, that's just ridiculous. It's way too much money. Just go to your local beauty supply, buy a combination shampoo conditioner for synthetic hair, and you're good to go. It worked great. Um, the hair smells good, too. It actually hangs very natural, and it looks very natural in the front. It's kind of dark in here, so you probably can't see it, but let me get a little closer. So you can kind of see that it looks very natural in the front. Um, the issues that I have with this is that there are no baby hairs in the back. Uh, Sassy Secret says that um, there will be baby hairs around the perimeter, and that's supposed to be all the way around. But uh, this one did not have baby hairs in the back, and that's a big problem. Let me turn around and show it to you. As you can see, probably see how it's coming up. Um, it's so hard to keep it down uh, because um, there's no baby hairs to hold it down and meld it, you know, onto the neck. So it's constantly coming loose. That part is really irritating, and it doesn't look natural when you put it up in a ponytail with no baby hairs. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. Um, I think Sassy Secret should have better uh, quality control. I did email them and they said we're sorry about that. There are some of them that are sent out without baby hairs and we'll look into it. But they didn't offer to send me a replacement. They didn't offer to give me a credit for a next purchase. So you're uh, basically uh, screwed. So. If you don't want to wear it up in a ponytail, if you uh, don't want it to, if you don't mind, it doesn't look natural in the back. If you, you know, wear styles that are up, then this is fine. Um, and you may be lucky. You may end up getting one that has baby hairs in the back, but I didn't. And they didn't offer to make good on it either, so I really don't appreciate that. So I don't think I'll be purchasing from them again because I don't believe that's good customer service. Um, but they did ship it early and I did receive it in time, and there are some good things about it. But now that I'm getting used to the process of uh, lace wigs, now I know how it's supposed to fit, how it's supposed to look, and now I know I need to order a custom one to fit my head so that you won't have excess, you know, um, having to pull your lace front down longer on your neck, and um, there's just so many things that can go wrong if the uh, cap doesn't fit properly and it just doesn't look natural. So think about that um, on your next purchase. So again, this is um, the synthetic one, Misty, and uh, I'm going to end up buying a custom wig probably from Platinum Wigs 
or there's another company that has absolutely no reviews and I'm going to uh, think twice about ordering from them but um, next time I'm going to try the thin skin in the front because this has Swiss. I'm going to try thin skin in the front um, and all around the perimeter and uh, with baby hair around the whole thing and we'll see how it goes. So hopefully this has helped you. Take care.